question of, of whiteness, um, uh, one of the things that fascinates me um, uh, about American racial, um, uh, uh, American racial mythology is you take two different groups. You um, take this you know, cluster of Europeans um, and you take this cluster of West Africans and you decide that these brown people over here, they are black and all the things about blackness um, mythologically we're going to put onto them, which is chaos and savagery and violence, and they represent that. Um, and then this other group of pink people, we're going to decide these pink people are actually white, and, they, and all of the things around whiteness, um, the attributes of order and reason and nobility, we're going to let them um, be examples of that. And even though some of them are horrible, um, wretched, not noble, and you know, um, monstrous people, they still get to keep that title. And even though some of these over here are noble, you know, um, uh, powerful people, they're still going to keep um, th that title. And so it creates this odd binary um, between these two random ethnic groups. And I think we empower a lot of that. And I think a lot of our racial discussion today is still haunted by that. Um, and um, uh, by haunted by a lot of the ideas that we as uh, came up with during the Enlightenment for our, how we were kind of defining ourselves. And so I think um, a lot of times when I see the racial discussions that we have, um, they seem like they're just spinning their wheels, um, in part because we haven't figured out new ways to kind of dismantle um, these issues. And so uh, for me, one of the most important ways of doing that now is uh, separating ourselves from that binary. 